Hello my scrappy friends, day 30 in my video a day in May series and I am bringing you another memory planner layout. Uh, this is week 10 so it's the first week of March this year and you could see that I started chopping down on my photos uh, and I'm just getting the placement here. You can see that I'm, I'm actually looking for a photo that is uh, I don't know how I'm misprinting it, but I'm misprinting it. So I did go over to my computer and it is sitting in my spreadsheet waiting to be printed the next time I print photos for my memory planner. These photos were all a tiny bit too big. So I had to go back in and just trim them all down a tiny bit. And I am go I decided to stamp my dates for this week. I'm using Distress Oxide in Speckled Egg and a... Where's this stamp set from? This is an Ellie Studio stamp set and you can see it's very simple one two three four five six seven for the first week of March. Uh, I'm just stamping off there and I'm using the Tracy Reed beginnings and endings collection once again and the speckled egg matches really beautifully with this so that box that I'm sticking down now it's a kind of minty bluey kind of color yeah uh, which matches the speckled egg perfectly so uh, as always I've got all my photos stuck down now I'm going to go in and make sure I've got spaces to add my journaling for all of the stories I want to tell just using my eraser to get rid of my notes as I'm going and yeah like I said I'm just using the beginnings and endings collections by Tracy Reed it's got all these rainbows and all these fun things uh, photos from left to right so on the Tuesday is our first chrysalis yes our first chrysalis which is very exciting uh, and on Wednesday so I've got two boxes there for journaling and the bottom photo is my big guy he had his uh, plate taken out and a temporary retainer which was clear but the difference in his smile is pretty remarkable Thursday I have got a photo of my youngest and um, the guy in his arms his name is Biscuits and he is the class uh, stuffed animal that goes home with the kid I think you know the one that's tried the hardest and made the most effort this week and that kind of stuff and uh, that goes along with the super kid so they all get uh, everyone in the class fills in a form about whoever is super kid that week it's actually really super cute and sweet to read uh, but yes he was super kid that week and was very excited to bring biscuits home the photo underneath that is me and my kids in the spa but I realize when I add all my journaling that I've actually put this in the wrong place so when I cut to do my journaling you'll come back we'll come back and see that that photo has been shifted over which does kind of mess with a couple of things that I'm putting down but I make it work in the end so I've got stickers printed I've got three by four journaling cards printed four by six journaling cards printed I've got some of the stickers that I printed onto uh, cardstock that I'm using my tape runner to stick down I decided I didn't like this label so I'm pulling that back up you can see I've got all those bits strewn across my desk um, I've added a couple of little strips of the washi tape from this collection and I really wanted to make this chrysalis stand out so I've got these two little um, triangle squares I know that sounds dumb um, that I have added and I'm just going to add them in here to point directly to that chrysalis so you don't miss it I wanted to add a bit of a layer underneath so I start by adding in that um, washi tape strip and that's one of the ones that was on cardstock so I just use my tape on it to stick it down add in a flower um, you do see me pick up a lot of things and put them back down in this video uh, it, which is one of the not fantastic things about using stickers uh, especially this particular sticker paper I found it's really sticky but it's all good uh, the diagonal rainbow stripe is one of the stickers that I had printed and I'm just tearing bits off as I need it using some of these crosses that also stickers I'm going to add this floral in under here then decide after I get it in that I don't like it underneath so I'm going to pull it all up and stick it on top like I said there's a fair bit of this in this video it's too funny it cracks me up uh, so I'm just lifting that up carefully 
and we're good uh, so I got to the photos the one on Friday is a friend's daughter I took some donuts to school for after school and uh, she she was staring at all the donuts like where's mine so uh, she, her mum gave me permission to give her a little piece of the donut and the grin on her face is just priceless then the last two photos so you can see that's both of my kids uh, my little one with biscuits from school and my big one realized that he had the same matching one in the little version so they were like look mum we've got you know we've both got a biscuits and the bottom photo there is my little one tucked up in bed with biscuits the last night that he had him and it's just a really cute photo I couldn't help it so just a pretty average week the Monday was a public holiday here in WA that week uh, so might be why there's no photos. I also don't remember to take photos every single day and that's all right. I've done some stamping again with the Distress Oxide and the stamp set that I've used is that typewriter stamp set from scrapbook.com. I've gone with Yay, uh, Yum and Love. I think that's all of the words I stamped. I'm just going to give you, so I went away and I did all my journaling uh, on the Wednesday, uh, my little guy had a long-awaited assessment for autism and it was just a big day. I haven't put all of the details in there, but I knew that I wanted to document it in here. So I just um, wrote the important, not the important stuff, but the stuff that I wanted here in there. So it's recorded and uh, yeah, it's, it's just there and ready to read if I want to flip back through. Uh, so I'm using the Dear Lizzie hashtag sticker book today and I just I felt like I was just going to use this to add in some embellishments to the bottom right. So I start on the bottom right with this one. I've added a little banner that says um, Satter Yay uh, and then the green square that says Smile with the camera on it. I've also added in up the top there, you make me happy, but I end up taking that off. On the right, I've added that little arrow that says love, and then I've got the two circular stickers on the far left, and then I've added the sun in. I've got the blue word strip that says remember, and then the dark blue strip above the so ready for a new chapter. And then that green one says, hello you. Uh, I wanted to add a few extra bits so I've gone through that same sticker book and pulled out some gold they're, they're almost rose copper gold I think um, so I've pulled some gold one uh, some stars and hearts and I'm going to scatter those across the page and then you're going to see me lifting up more stickers and changing things down, around again uh, so on the bottom left hand side of the page I will be adding in another photo and I've written in there spa photo uh, and that's going to be the only empty space when this is done everything else will have something in it I wanted to cover up the left hand side so I have pulled out this uh, Traveller's Noble paper from I can't remember which collection but it's another Tracy Reed one <laughs> and I'm just going to stick this down the edge here and I'm going to cut this piece so that the blue, there's a tiny bit of the blue so that it just continues from where it was, if that makes sense. I'm just going to mark where I want to cut that off. And I decide to cut it off where the pink is so that I've got pink at the top and the bottom. And I really like that added to the page. I felt like I needed something on the left so I pulled in this washi tape. It is white with little black crosses. It looks like stitching. So I'm going to trim that off. Ordinarily like on a regular scrapbook page I'll just wrap it around. But because you can see the other side like the other side is on display I decided not to. I'm going to use some more of this on this side. So first I'm going to cut this one down to size. And I'm going to lift things up and tuck it underneath. I think I saved you from watching all of that. And then the other piece that's there, I end up tucking um, up a little bit. So right there. 
again I'm pretty sure I don't make you watch me pull all of this apart so I've taken that all off I'm going to add this in here and then I'm going to remove that you make me happy sticker and I'm going to add in um, I do try this down the bottom on the right here and decide that I don't want it there and then I do go back and I was actually thinking that I was going to add this sticker earlier and then forgot about it and then I was like I know what I can put there my little hot air balloon so that is I'm going to add in a few more strips of this washi tape just so that it's across the page I do some horizontal and some vertical strips and that is uh, week 10 done and I have one more share for you for this month uh, so yeah I hope you've enjoyed if you have any questions or comments please leave them below as always thank you so much for stopping by and I shall see you again tomorrow